my petty cash was uh, diminishing and I was getting really stressed out. It was time to make a difference and I knew I wanted a different lifestyle and I wanted to make a change. Because if I couldn't, if I couldn't help my patients get healthier, then I'm doing them a disservice. So at that time I reached out and it's been a life-changing moment. My name's Dr. Devin Hidon and I practice in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Well, first and foremost, you have to be vulnerable and you have to be humble. So you have to admit that things aren't going the way you want it to go and you know that there's a better way. So after doing the first um, call with PDA, they reassured me, yes, they could help me. Yes, they've been here before. And um, they just needed to get things tweaked a little bit. Certain things I was saying, perhaps, um, certain things my team might have been saying, really instill a leadership role on my behalf for my team. And so um, all those things made a difference in my practice and changed it. We've gone from doing 300 and some dollars an hour to close to $3,000 an hour. So if you want to change, if you want a difference in your life, they'll change it. My work schedule has gone from four days a week to three days a week. The next year will be two and a half or two days a week. So the world's your oyster in dentistry. It just depends on what you want. You just have to go get it and you got to ask for help. Being able to notice that you're in pain and you're hoping a patient says yes and you not understanding what your value is as a dentist or a provider for your patient or you're an advocate for them but you don't know how to explain that to them to get them to say yes and let them say yes to help. So if you're going to work and you're like, what am I doing? Every, every person has a pain point, right? That's gonna make them change, hopefully. Um, some people, as you'll notice, never change. Their practice never change, changes, it remains stagnant. And other people embrace it and know that there's a better way of doing things and they don't have to reinvent the wheel. Someone's already done that. That's what PDA does for you. They have practices that take all insurances to practices that take no insurances. They have practices transitioning either direction. It just depends on what you want. I remember with PDA, it was, it was it, the question was, what do you want and how do we get you there, right? It wasn't, this is what PDA does and we're gonna fit you in this cog and we're gonna spit you out a certain way. So if you want something that's tailored for what you want, your lifestyle, they're able to do that. If you go to work every day and you don't like it, there's an issue with that and you, you need to change that. Yeah, I remember going in the bathroom and, and just saying, just please let this patient accept this treatment. And now I think it's a privilege to be in my practice. Now I think it's a privilege to be able to work with the, the, the staff that I work with. It's a completely different dynamic and the ecosystem that we've curated is a direct result of PDA and what they can do for your practice. So if you're thinking about it, it's called stop thinking and just start doing and 99% um, of us are thinking about it. We're always the smartest person in the room. And unfortunately, that mentality in dentistry is gonna get you nowhere. It's gonna get you the results that you've been getting. If you wanna get to the next level, you need help. You need to be humble. You need to uh, realize that pain is, is, is not a good thing. It could be a temporary thing that, that get you somewhere, but it's not gonna be a long-term solution to what you need. Goals are whatever you wanna make it. If you wanna make $5 million a year doing dentistry, they can help you do that. If you wanna make a million dollars a year, they can help you do that. It all depends on what you want and what lifestyle you want. Right now, I'm in the phase, my wife's a dentist, we have three children. We are trying to spend as much time forming our children or, or giving our children values that we want and that we want to um, instill in them. And so that's our goal right now. That's, that's where we are in life. I was talking to Dennis this uh, yesterday, different lifestyle. They're in their legacy piece now. They wanna leave a legacy for their staff, their children, their grandchildren. I'm not in that phase right now. And so knowing what you want out of your life right now is key. And PDA really wants to know what that is. And they know that they need to become, they need to remain flexible for whatever you want. When we started with PDA, it was just getting patients to say yes. I wanted a patient to say yes to an MO composite, right? And so you're, you're, 
your goal of being able to to do that that's a pretty small goal but it's it's a big um big step when you're initially starting off right so pda gave me the principles to be able to go in there confidently and provide my patient with the best care possible because you can be the best dentist in the world but if you can't communicate to a patient why something is needed you will never get to do the dentistry that you're supposed to do and you're never going to get to do the dentistry that the patient deserves. So PDA is very um, instrumental in helping you help your patients, right? So it's baby steps for some people like me, and it's leaps and bounds for other providers. You might be a leaps and bounds person. I'm a baby step person. But your life is made of all these small decisions every single day. And if you don't make those small decisions every single day to get better with your practice, you're never going to get what you want. PDA has uh, helped me immensely. I remember talking to Bruce one time. I said, you don't understand what you've done for me. You've changed my career path. You've, trained, you've changed um, who I am or who I, how I see myself. And I think he was taken aback by that, and that's okay. But you, you do have the ability to affect patients' life, staff's life, your own life, and make a lifestyle that's good for you. PDA really takes a deep dive in your practice and can tell you pretty quickly where, you're, where um, there are opportunities to grow and where you're already kicking butt. So in my particular case, PDA was good at just getting me to say, hey, how are you, Jim? It's nice to meet you. Um, Let's get you scheduled for the next appointment. That's the confidence I needed. And then from there, it dovetailed into marketing. You know, how do we get the patients that we want? Or how do we get warm bodies in the chair? Then the marketing team turned into, how do we get the specific patient that you want, the type of dentistry that you want to do on a certain a demographic into your chair? How do you get to do that? And so it's shifted from I want to see everybody to I want to see this specific segment of the population. So there are just different steps and every step of the way PDA has already had this hashed out. They've already had someone who's who's done what you're thinking about. So if it's from dropping insurances, which we've done, we're a completely fee for service office to um, marketing a certain demographic to how do you talk to your patient? Just basic stuff. So PDA is great in all of those different aspects, and they're gonna let you know where we can improve upon or where you're already doing good. I've hired PDA for hygiene consulting so that my hygienists don't lose me money anymore, right? I'm not looking for them to make me an exorbitant amount of money. I just want them to not lose me money. If you ask a dentist, hey, what is your hygienist doing an hour? Most of them will, won't know. How much is a hygienist losing you an hour? Most of your patients, most of dentists won't know. And so I think just understanding what your metrics are, where your numbers are, you have a goal, you're not driving in the dark, PDA can help you with that. They're not gonna solve all your problems because you have to do the hard work. But um, at the end of the day, you need to know where you're going, you need a map for that, and PDA does that. I think sometimes you don't realize, for me, I knew I needed help. But for the majority of our colleagues, we don't know we need help. And we think that taking every insurance plan is a solution or adding another treatment option like sleep apnea or something else to our clinical expertise is a solution to a bigger problem. And it's not knowing how to run a business and it's not knowing how to communicate. And if you can't admit that to yourself, you will continue to spin your wheels trying to figure this out on your own. Yes, you can figure this out on your own by going to Dental Town or going to a Facebook page and doing all that stuff. But the amount of time and the amount of effort you're going to have to put towards doing this isn't worth it. There are better ways. People have already built a path for you. You don't have to do this on your own. Um, and it's just... As I mentioned earlier, it's about being humble and understanding you don't have all the answers. You can expedite the process a lot quicker if you ask for help. And there are plenty of mentors out there in PDA that will help you and guide you on whatever you want.
whether it's dropping insurance, building an empire, having multiple practices, they've done it. So don't, you don't have to pave the way yourself. It's already been done.